as people age, the uh, vicissitudes of life tend to catch up with you. The cortisol bumps from all the chronic stress that we're all under, the ultra-processed food that we're all exposed to, the air pollution, the obesogens in our environment, in the vinyl flooring, in the cosmetics. I mean, basically, we are under constant onslaught by various chemicals that interfere with our ability to burn and grow. As that happens, we're going to lose that growth signal, and so muscle starts to decline as you get older. One way to keep that up is, of course, exercise. But the natural uh, event is for muscle mass to decrease as one gets older because of all of this onslaught. Well, that's one less place for glucose to go. So when you eat a sizable portion, up to sometimes 70 to 75% of a glucose load will end up in your muscle to power the muscles of your body. If you lose that muscle, where does the glucose go? Well, it stays in your bloodstream and now your insulin has to clear it into fat. So that's gonna put an increased strain on your beta cells because they're gonna have to make more insulin to generate an increased storage place in your fat for all of that now excess glucose that wasn't excess before, but is now. And so you tend to lose muscle, gain fat as you get older. In addition, as you get older, growth hormone decreases. So growth hormone is one of the things that helps you build muscle. It's one of the things that makes you grow. It's growth hormone. <laughs> well, growth hormone has a life cycle, and it peaks at around 17 to 25, and then starts to go down as you get older. As you lose sex hormones as you get older, your growth hormone goes even lower. And so that stimulus to make muscle is now resolving, and what takes its place is fat. So basically you've got less opportunity to be able to burn the energy and more laying down of fat. This, of course, creates even more insulin resistance. That puts a greater strain on those beta cells, which are also losing capacity because of all those chronic exposures. And so they cannot keep up with the increased need for clearance peripherally. And so eventually you'll get to the point where you just don't have enough insulin for the way your body has changed.